We start off with an update on the lawsuit stemming from the death of two SFA student athletes. Graylin Spring and Micah McAfoos died after the car they were in collided with an 18-wheeler on U.S. Highway 59 near Corrigan back in January. KTRE's Avery Gorman was in the courtroom today where both sides continued arguments over cell phone data and an alleged conflict of interest in the case. Attorneys met again today in an Angelina County courtroom trying to reach agreements on the case. The first being the cell phones, a big point of contention in previous hearings. The defense's lawyer representing the trucking company, Marcy Rothman, wanted all of the cell phones to be rescreened using a service called Cellubrite Premium. Rothman argues that the previous screenings may not have shown the full details before and during the crash. Attorney Mike Love, representing the Spring family, says both parties agreed the cell phones will be rescreened using the same platforms. We're going to do five minutes of data that's going to cover all phone activity for the truck driver and the auto passenger. The driver, Micah McAfoos' phone, will be screened for only 86 seconds before the crash occurred due to a prior Supreme Court case ruling. Also discussed, the deposition of a Polk County DA paralegal. The plaintiff's attorney alleging the paralegal had a personal relationship with the owner of Hughes Trucking Company. At this time, we are choosing not to release her name. After the wreck, a criminal case was opened in Polk County. Jared Bloom, an attorney for the defense, alleges the family's attorney reached out to the DA's office requesting a full investigation of the crash and lost dash cam footage. So when that happened, in her official capacity of working for the Polk County attorney, Mr. Attorney, she went to Mr. Hughes to get his statement on this issue. The ultimate decision was to no-bill the driver. Bloom says the personal relationship shouldn't be a point of concern and is a conspiracy. Tim Newsom, an attorney for the McAfoos family, says they should have their right to depose her. I have to sit here and say we would like to question the person that assisted in preparing Mr. Hughes' statement, particularly because they've got some kind of personal relationship. That is no conspiracy. That is, if we're entitled to that discovery. Polk County DA Shelley Bush Ditton was also there, and she stated she was aware the two knew each other personally. The decision I made was... Who is the, the, probably the one person that in my office he might be honest with and tell her what happened was her. Avery Gorman, KTRE, East Texas News 9. Now the next hearing in that case has not been scheduled.